Okay, there is a new rivalry in the Premier League. It is us versus Jose Mourinho, Tottenham versus Chelsea. Now, in our first meeting with them, we got the better of Chelsea, but today they have a chance to get us back. We are also entering the January transfer window with money to spend, and we're also playing for a chance to be in our first cup final with Spurs to try and deliver them a trophy. So drop a like for more daily episodes, and let's get back into it. All right, so we were in downtown London running some errands, and after we finished up, we are now driving to a meeting with Tottenham chairman Daniel Levy to talk about our January uh, transfer plans. So we get to the meeting, and we tell him that we like where the team is at. I mean, we are sitting in first place currently, but I think still in January with this money, we can still improve this team. So I'm thinking multiple signings here. Now, first comment, you should foster another youth academy player. Yes, we brought over Javi and Bailey from Chelsea, but we haven't really found any Spurs youth academy players. That's going to change today, I think, but it's not going to be exactly the same. Van de Ven is a good defender, but an upgrade over him would be perfect. Try looking for Sergio Ramos's regen. Yeah, the center back area in our team is very interesting because I feel like we could use a better center back. Now, I think right here, this is the Sergio Ramos regen. Now, unfortunately, he's making a move right now, so we can't sign him. Plus, I think he might be too expensive anyways, but we still might look to sign a center back in January. As last comment, you should sign Jeremiah St. Just for my axe if you want another center back. Yeah, I miss using Jeremiah St. Just, but I don't know if Tottenham is the right team for him. I feel like we'll be reunited at some point, though. Some point relatively soon. Now, in terms of players we're going to look to sell in January, Richarlison is gone. He's going to PSG when the window opens. Um, and Dombele is going to Juventus when the window opens. And then we are going to try to sell Ezri Konza. Now, I like Konza a lot, but he's 31 years old. He's not growing. So I feel like we could replace him with a better third choice center back or make Mickey Vandeven third choice and buy a second choice center back. That could upgrade our defense or make us more solid in the defensive department. And we still have Taylor Harwood Bellas, who was here when we joined as a fourth choice. Then there's uh, then there's Vicario. I just feel like Vicario has not been that good for us at all. So we might look to sell him and buy a new keeper because I like Joe Stegen, but he's not growing anymore. He was always going to be like the second choice keeper. We might buy a new starting keeper. We might. But before the transfer opens, we are going to face Chelsea again already. It's only been like two weeks since our last meeting, but we play them again just like that. And this time it's our return to Stanford Bridge. So it's a, it's a personal one. Also because of the fact that we are four points above them. So if we could beat them, we'd be seven points above Chelsea. But if they win, they'd be only one point behind us. So this game is big right before the uh, transfer window opens. Now our captain James Madison is back from his injury. And he says ever since we joined the club, the entire team energy has changed. And everyone believes we can win trophies this year. I mean, saying it's one thing, doing it is a whole nother thing. Up until this point, everything is just talk. But with every win, we get closer to our goal. Now, unfortunately, uh, Sangari is out with a red this game. So who do we play in his uh, place? I feel like it's got to be Benton Kerr, right? He was playing Cam for us. I feel like now he's going to play CDM. That's how versatile he is. But other than that, strongest lineup. And this one here uh, might be interesting. I know Chelsea want revenge at Stanford Bridge. And it's bittersweet coming back here. We were coached for two years at Chelsea. We won the Premier League, won the Europa League. It is uh, very weird to return, but I'm starting to really like our new team Spurs. So once again, Chelsea versus Tottenham, us versus Jose Mourinho. We win this game. It'll be very big for the title race. The uh, early stage of title race. Okay, we have space here though. Osman, good play. It. Okay, tried to. Oh, Osman, what a tackle. Plays it over to Cavada. Cavada tries to get it back. Madison, welcome back to back to the lineup, but that shot was terrible. Madison out to Cavada. Cavada now crossover to Osman. Osman, great header, but it goes over Sanchez. Okay, lively start. Okay, Foden stop. That's a good ball by Romero. Oh, Romero doesn't have it. Vicario makes a save. Okay, if Vicario can show me something, maybe we won't uh, buy a new keeper. Maybe, but he's got to show me a lot more than that. Okay, and Kunku is just doing all these moves around me. Enzo Fernandez. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Okay, Vicario. Uh, that's an amazing save, actually. Was I wrong about Vicario? Am I wrong? So, man, that's two really good saves. Now, Benton Kerr out to Bailey. Bailey, we got Mr. Cavadadona. Now, that's a decent idea. Oh, man, if someone was there, that pass would have been perfect. That header pass. Yogi into Cavada. Cavada has a chance for finesse shot. Bro, I feel like our finesse shots are so bad. I don't know why. We need to go finesse training. Oh, Mateo. Mateo's dribbling is insane. Now, Bailey gets it into Javi. Javi against his former team now he scores oh my that chelsea youngster scores and he's gonna celebrate oh man you know that felt good chelsea didn't want him jose didn't want him and he just got his revenge and it was actually youngster youngster uh bailey to javi honestly i didn't expect him to score this but he's got that extra motivation today and just like that it is one nil to spurs it's only his uh second goal of the year but it is a very uh meaningful one lavic gets it over to lavia lavia oh i saw that pass coming okay vicario all of a sudden is making all these saves maybe you heard me he's fighting for his job right now I don't even know what Madison just did there or why or how or when. Whatever it was, it was not good. Hernandez gets it over to Nkunku. Come on, boys. Don't let him score. Hernandez in the box. Vicario makes a save. Not a penalty? Okay, not a penalty. I thought we might have took him out there, but thankfully it was clean. And once again, Vicario, that's another save. This might be the game where Vicario uh, changes my mind on signing a keeper. Enzo shot Vicario. Another save. What is happening right now? Javi gets it to Udogi. That's a great pass. Now Udogi. Osman's got a lot of space here. Osman. Four. Two nil to Spurs. And oh, Osman puts it wide. I trusted Osman so much. Oh man, Victor, you got to score that. Okay, he hasn't missed much. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna give to give him a break. But that is a bad miss. Foden. Stop Foden. Romero. Romero. Good tackle. But they're going to get back over to the top. Lavia. Into Vlaovic. Okay, Van de Ven. That is a great tackle. I was uh, very worried there. Gomeka into Vlaovic. Romero. 
Strong tackle. Okay, this is definitely a Darby because there are some tough tackles right now. That one was great. Madison and Javi Javi. Try and find Osman. Okay, Fofana get tackle. Javi's staying with it though. Javi stays all the way with it. Into Madison. Madison Lavia over two. Kavada, I'm gonna your Kavada. Tries to play to something. Okay, we just got like smothered right there. Kavada needs help. Okay, first half. I feel like so far we're doing good, but Chelsea do look better than last time they do. Now, Bailey versus Foden is one of the biggest matchups today, and Foden so far is winning it by a wide margin Foden is just like one of the best players in the world right now though so I don't blame Bailey too much oh that pass was so incredibly bad Madison driving forward now he is looking spry back from his injury we'll go for a finesse shot oh that looks so good Madison cross in Osman is there for that okay Osman you just hit that backwards what was that I didn't even know that was possible this is dangerous players out of position a little bit Vlaovic will get a pass in there but oh it's gonna fall Romero, oh no, the ball, the ball went to Romero and then it went back to Matueke. How unfortunate is that? I thought we like tried to clear it. Man, like right here, the ball goes right in front of Romero's feet, but oh, it just kind of goes right back to Matueke. That's so unlucky. Okay, it is 1-1, 60 first minute. I feel like a draw would not be a bad result as long as we don't lose here. If we lose, it's very bad, but a draw would not be the worst. Osman has space here. Osman does have space. Can he score this time? Sanchez, okay, he literally like palmed the ball there. That is quite a good save. Lovic, oh, Romero, no, goes over to Nkunku. Nkunku will stop that turn was disgusting and then Vlaovic is gonna score within a span of like 10 minutes it's gone from 1-0 to 2-1 to Chelsea now I mean Vicario has made a lot of good saves today but this one I feel like it's kind of a shot that's just right at him but doesn't make the save I feel like he could be doing better with that but who knows all right now we gotta try and tie this game up Aussie men gets it over to Bailey now Bailey can we find a pass here Bailey might find a cross actually to someone that's a great cross but oh, okay uh, Kavada almost got that Benton Kerr gets it over to Ozzyman Gets it over to Mateo. Mateo finds Osman. Osman shoots and oh, Osman hits the post. That is so unlucky. Oh, we're putting pressure. There's our chance for here. Bailey gets it to Javi. Javi over to Kavada. Kavada. Oh, very streams. That is very good defending. On 12 minutes, we can find this equalizer. Javi's calling for it. Oh, someone needs to be there for that cross. That's such a good cross, but no one's in a good spot for it. All right, final 10 minutes. Mr. Clutch is coming on. Evan Ferguson for Osman. Osman has not had a good game today. And also Solomon for Mateo because Mateo was tired. So, okay, Evan Ferguson score another big goal for us. Solomon, we're going to play it over the top to Ferguson. Ferguson, you got fresh legs. Ferguson. What a touch. Evan Ferguson. Oh, Sanchez got so close. That was a very tough one. That was almost so good, though. Oh, man. Matueke stole it. Is that our chance ruined? I don't know. Matueke comes back in. Over to Foden. Foden. Good tackle by Bailey. We have one chance here. Madison through to Evan Ferguson. What a ball by James Madison. Ferguson. Please, we'll score it. Oh, Evan Ferguson is just a big goal scorer. Like, he scores nothing but big goals. Oh, what a ball by Madison, too. Okay, this is going to be a huge draw for us. This feels like a win. Bro, Ferguson, the last 10 minutes of game is just, he has the clutch gene in him. Oh, man, 2-2 two, two at the Stanford Bridge. And this means we stay four points above Chelsea instead of what? Before, it'd be like only one. Oh, man, that in the title race, that is such a big goal. That seriously feels like a win right there, a big win. Chelsea denied by late Ferguson equalizer. They're not the first to uh, suffer the Ferguson fate. So now, Chelsea to third my united in second three points behind us now the transfer window is officially open okay actually we have like four days before it's open now i had my heart set on signing a new keeper but after that last game i'm unsure now because if cario played decent i just don't know if he's the keeper we need to win trophies and i did spot this mike my contract is expiring in seven months so we could sign him right now for absolutely nothing like seven million to sign an 89 rated keeper who's still only 33 years old that's not too old for a keeper and there's also Unai simone but that would be like 25 million and he's a bit uh, a bit worse so i spotted this and i felt like my I know he's an amazing keeper. Only paying 7 million for almost a 90 rated keeper. We can't pass up on it. Now, Vicario is worth 6.5. Can we offer him in a swap deal? I feel like that might be more realistic than just signing a uh, Mignon straight up. So 2 million plus Vicario and they accept that. I mean, that's a clear upgrade. We got to do it. I would still be nervous going to the season, the rest of the season with uh, Vicario in goal. So with Mignon, I feel much more secure. So it looks like we are signing a new goalkeeper and it's one that is uh, that is very, very good. Mignon, welcome to Tottenham. All right. So Ndombele, Richarlison, Vicario leave and Mike Mignon arrives. We have our new number one now also Ezri Kanza has been sold to Juventus so this means we need to sign a new uh, third choice or second choice center back that is guaranteed in this month we need to do that now I showed this earlier but yes we are in the Carabao Cup semifinals and we have Manchester United in the semis by the way other side Arsenal Brentford it could be a North London Derby final but we got to get by our former team first and this is two legs so we're going to sim the first leg and play the second leg so first one's at home I feel like this one could be decent we're going full strength it's going to be it is going to be three nil Kanza Lidi Cavada and Cavada oh my talk 
about a big sim win. I think we're already through to the final. I wasn't expecting to go like that. But okay, my Nyan is a great addition to the team. We're gonna make at least two more additions right now. With this now 116 million after selling with Charleston and the rest of those players. Now I did say a center back, but there's also another player that I have not talked about yet. Okay, I don't want to butcher his name. I'm gonna call him Choi. But guaranteed 100 this is the Sun Regen. Because as we know, Sun retired in the save. Like I don't know when before we got to Spurs though. So this right here is his Regen. I found him in the free agents. And he's got the same birthday as Sun, so that's how you know for sure he's a Regen. And uh, his stats look really, really good. He's got like very good speed stats, and then also he's got finishing, dribbling, and like really good passing for a left winger. I feel like he's a player that could play up top, maybe on the left wing like Cam, pretty much just like Sun. We already have Johnson and uh, Solomon as wingers, but the Sun Regen we need to sign. We have to. Now we are very lucky he's a free agent because I'm pretty sure his value is like something like 120 million. So uh, we just got very lucky. He wants to follow in the footsteps of uh, the Tottenham legend, Human Sun. And who knows? Maybe this is the next uh, Tottenham legend. If it is, we have just signed up Choi. Welcome to Spurs. This one is uh, very, very exciting for us. Could be a legend. Okay, yeah, as potentially special is his status and his value is $136 million. He might be the next Spurs legend just like Sun was. We got to untuck that shirt though. We're not doing that. Now, the fact that I feel like he'd be a pretty good attacking midfielder, we might actually find him a spot on the bench because Basuma is barely playing and I feel like Bentenker is the better CDM than Basuma. So what if we just do that and then Choi could play as like a cam? I feel like that probably works. So he might find himself a permanent spot on the bench. Now for the uh, center back target. Now it would be cool to sign the Ramos region, but he's just joined uh, St. Etienne. So can sign him. And I feel like St. Just, I feel like it's not time to uh, sign him again. I was thinking either Lucas Hernandez or uh, Benjamin Pavard. Now I really like the way uh, Benjamin Pavard looks. I don't think he would take over Mickey Van Deven's starting spot, but he could play center back, right back, CDM even maybe in the midfield. He's an extremely versatile player and he's only worth like 13 million. Just having a player on the bench that could play all those positions definitely would help. So 14 million, we're back talking AC Milan and they accept that. This is a no brainer. This right here is such a steal. I think after signing Magnan, I trust uh, Romero and Mickey Van Deven to be our two starting center backs. I feel like our squad depth is instantly better. So Pavard, welcome to Spurs. So new additions, Magnan, Choi, and then of course Pavard. That might be it unless someone uh, shockingly leaves. And I think it's time for uh, some debuts. We are facing Everton away next. We're trying to stay in first place right above United. And I want to see the Sun region Choi, see if he's actually good. So we're going to play him on the left wing. We're going to play Pavard. And then of course Magnan's in there too. Let's give Ferguson a start too. Let's do that. So Choi, the Sun region. Is he the next Tottenham legend? We're going to find out in this game maybe. I got really big hopes for him. And uh, he isn't a youth player. So like youth players usually have like slow starts. Regens though in the past have had like amazing starts for us. So this could be a pretty big debut. So Ferguson gets us ticked off. Let's get another win. Let's stay in first place. We cannot let either of our former teams, United or Chelsea, catch us. Now Choi, welcome to Spurs. Plays it into Madison. Madison, good first touch. Choi gets it to Ferguson. Ferguson, oh, Ferguson, that touch was terrible right there. Now Choi is left footed, but he has a five star weak foot. So he's pretty good on both feet. This is one of those games though. I feel like this game actually might be tough. If I, I would not be surprised if it's tough. Okay, my Nyan first save for Spurs. And that was a very good one. Mateo through to Madison. Ferguson, can you find space? Ferguson, oh, he's got destroyed by uh, Collins. Now Madison might have Ferguson again. Ferguson, oh, we tried to play Choi in. That would have been a nice uh, first maybe goal for him. First attempt at least. Now Javi over to Madison. Madison can try to go for a shot. What was that even shot? That was like a toe poke shot from that far out. You get like no chance of scoring that Madison. Oh, Madison's dribbling there. Gets it out to Choi. Choi can go for his first shot. Goes for his first shot. It goes right to the keeper. Hey, not a bad first attempt. Not bad. Choi to Ferguson. Ferguson could play in Choi. Okay, they're combining pretty well. Just not quite getting that final pass. I mean, if Ferguson is the next Harry Kane and Choi is the next son, that kind of makes sense why they would combine pretty well. Oh, ball in the middle. Javi and Asengade missed that pass, but Pavard, look at the good defending from our new signing too. He looks very good so far. Javi, Ferguson might be in your Javi into Evan. Ferguson should score that man. Ferguson is so good. Osmond and Ferguson, that's just two really good strikers to have. That's your one, two. It's a big reason why we don't have problems scoring goals. So it is another assist for Javi and another goal for Evan Ferguson. 28th minute, one nil to Tottenham. That's a good shot, but Romero blocks it. And then Javi is trying to fight for it. Can't win it though. But apparently that was offside. Actually, Javi, that was good defending. I think. Mateo, Mateo has a yellow. When did Mateo get a yellow? I didn't even see that. Mateo, what did you do? Bailey, good ball to Madison. Madison gets it over to Choi, Choi, a chance to shoot. Oh, was that deflected? Oh, we didn't get a lot. He didn't get that good of a shot on that. Good contact on it, I mean. Okay, this is kind of dangerous. Uh, That's almost a good tackle. I think that's Choi defending. Choi doing defensive work and gets the ball out. Now, oh, Ferguson was on a run there. Okay, first half, it's 1-0. I would say so far, not too bad. Not gonna lie, though. This Spurs kit is terrible. This gray is one of the worst grays I have ever seen. Like, the home kit's white. The third kit is, uh, no, this away kit's actually, like, dark blue. And the third kit's gray. What is this color palette? The kit itself is not terrible. It's just the color of it, really. Okay, this is dangerous. Pavard. Oh, no. Pavard needs to slide okay that shot is right into the corner by scott everton do tie this game up now i'm not gonna blame my i don't think because this shot was pretty much just right 
in the corner. Yeah, I don't blame him too much. 50th minute. This is tied up. Dogi into Choi. Choi gets it to Ferguson. Ferguson tries to slide it back for Madison. Madison, good first touch, but the shot is going to be blocked, though. All right, Mateo, don't get a yellow, but that was a good tackle right there. Now, Mateo, we're going to try to dink it up to Madison. Madison all slides it over Ferguson, who was right there. It was going to get to him. Also, never since the second half, have played much better, but Pavard, that's a good tackle. Fortunately, we lose it, and it gets through again. Scott, okay, Manyan, good save. That is what we paid $7 million for you, which once again was an absolute steal, but they might steal a goal here. Romero, Romero, okay, what is that? Also, going to be a free kick for them. Okay, I'm going to put Choi at Cam. I feel like he might be more effective there, and then Cavada goes to the left wing. You know what? Let's do Brennan Johnson for uh, Mateo. So Mateo doesn't get sent off. Now they better not score this. I swear. They better not score this. Free kick. Oh, of course he's going to score it. You've got to be kidding me. I'm going to break my monitor. Bro, how far is this? How does he score this? He's got, did it say 79 free kicks? He's got 79 free kicks and he put this in like that. Oh, you got to be joking me. It is 2-1 to Everton with 20 minutes left. That makes me sick. Javi threw it to Kavada. Actually goes to Udogi instead. Udogi. Back to Javi. Javi. Might have a pass. Okay, that's not what I wanted. But Johnson into Ferguson. Ferguson shoots, and it's going to be blocked, though. Now Johnson plays it to Bailey. Bailey, I see Ferguson. Bailey, crossover. Oh, Bailey, that was actually a bad cross. One of his few bad crosses. All right, final sub is Benton Curran for Javi. That's our last change. Our last chance to tie this up. Free kicks on in. That's going to be clear. Now, can we break from this? Johnson, Choi. Now, we need players to run. Choi is going to find Yudogi. Good pass. Yudogi. Oh, we got Brendan Johnson. We're going to find the cross. Brendan Johnson. Good climb for it, but he's not going to win it. Okay, header one to Ferguson. Ferguson. Oh, we need a pass here. Gets it to Choi. Choi will shoot. Oh, it's going to go just wide on his weak foot. Man, he's had a few chances. Hasn't, hasn't looked the greatest, but it's only his first game. And this game is not even over yet. Choi gets it to Ferguson. Ferguson will get it out to Brennan Johnson. Brennan Johnson stops. Gets it to Ferguson. Ferguson. Oh, no. That's not the pass I wanted. Brennan Johnson. We got a pass here. We got a pass. It's going to be to Kavada. Oh, he's just offside, though. I think he was very offside. It's actually not the pass I was looking for. I was actually looking for Choi right there, but the ball went to Kavada, and yeah, he's offside. Man, is that our final chance here? Choi gets it to Johnson. Johnson back to Choi. Choi. And track it back, he does, into Benton Kerr. His shot is going to be right at the center back, though. Rebound, going to be right back to an Everton player. Oh, that's going to be a 2-1 loss. We had chances that game. Everton just played better. They took their chances. And also, that free kick won in the game. Like, come on. What am I supposed to do about that free kick? So, I think this is only our second loss of the year. It's just very unfortunate. So, first, first game, Choi didn't play that great. But he still has a lot of time to prove himself. Now, luckily for us, United actually drew. So, we still stay in first on a two-point lead. So, we get a little lucky there. But next game is going to be against third place Liverpool. Now, before that, though, second leg versus Man United. Now, I was going to play this, but we're up 3-0. I feel like we're not giving up a 3-0 lead. So, we're going to risk it in Simit. It's going to be all... My, they almost came back. You gotta be kidding me. Bruno, Mbappe, and Mbappe, they almost made the comeback. We scored one, though, and it was Cancelini, who also got hurt, who sends us to the Carabao Cup final, but just barely. And it looks like it is gonna be a North London Carabao Cup final, too. That is gonna be very interesting. And thankfully, Mateo's only out for seven days, so that's good. Since Mateo's hurt, I think I'm gonna give Choi another chance. Maybe on the right wing, being a left footer, he'll play better. So if we drop points here, we're definitely probably dropping out of first place. And like I said, Liverpool, the only other team other than Everton to beat us this year, so they've done it before, you know, they're gonna try to do it again. So this time, though, full first team other than uh Cancelini. You're like Bailey and Choi might have some good a good combo play out here, though. Choi gets into Madison, good pass. Now Madison trying to find Osman a good spot. Goes back though. Bailey. Avi actually will get it over to Kavada. Kavada, okay. This chance is very awkward, but Dogi Osman's calling for it. Far post. Osman. He was climbing for that, but Allison will catch it. Choi to Osman. Osman will find Choi again. Choi could cross it over. Okay, that's a good cross, but it's gonna be cleared. Zingade. Madison, though. Madison over to Javi. Javi shoots, and also it's going to be blocked. Not a bad start, though. Madison through to Alex Bailey, making a good round. Bailey, we're going to try to go for a deep cross to Osman. Kind of worked, but Kanate, really good defending. Okay, that's a free kick on Javi, which we might have a chance to shoot. Oh, it's on them, actually? Wait, what? Javi got, like, hit from behind. The referee disrespect is just uh, incomprehensible. Osman through to Kavada. Kavada's got space here, and he's also got the pace. Kavada finesse shot finish into the back of the net. Once again, it's the Osman Napoli to Kavada combo, and it's 1-0 to Spurs. I mean, this one was pretty simple in the end. All right, 20 minutes in. Let's keep this up. Joy gets it to Madison, gets it over to Osman right in front of goal. Oh, I put too much power on that, I think. I'm gonna blame myself for that, not Osman. Here we got players bombing forward here. Javi on his run, gets it over to Kavada. Kavada, a chance for his second in front of goal, and Allison can't make the save. Kavada's got two. Okay, this might be Kavada's game right now. He's on a hat trick. Another play where he's cutting him behind, and uh, Trent is having a lot of trouble with Kavada. 30 minutes in, it is 2-0. Now Nunez in a dangerous spot. Oh, Yudogi almost got that. Mignan will make the save, and we will get the ball out. That was very sloppy defensive work. Osman through to Choi. Now, Choi might have pace here. Might not have it all, though. Choi stops. 
Gets it over. Oh, man. Just missed Javi barely. Kavada gets it over to Javi. Javi, get it back to Kavada. Now Yudogi making that run that he likes to make. Okay, Trent, that is a little bit better defending. And this right here is dangerous. Bailey, oh, gets it in. I thought I was blocking that pass to Diaz, but the ball got like right through our feet there. I thought we were right in front of him, but that skill move just destroyed us. Okay, little blood of life. It is 2 1 in the 42nd minute. Madison over to Choi. Choi cuts inside very well here, Choi. Chance to go for finesse shot. Choi. Okay, that goes over the net. Wasn't wasn't bad though. This is dangerous. I could tie it up right now. But okay, Van de Van, that's better defending than the last time. And halftime is gonna be 2-1. Madison might have Osman here. Osman, you are in. Osman, okay, the defender is right there though. Okay, that defender just literally gave Osman space. Why do they do that sometimes? Like this defender is in front of him. Is who is it? Number five or what? He kind of just stops. Does he think that like number six has him? I don't know, but Osman scores. That is some very bad defending. Two goal lead restored and that one fell a little bit dirty to score that. But to win trophies, you got to get a little bit dirty. Actually, I don't know what that means and I don't even know what I just said. Okay, now we're seeing Liverpool press and it might work. But if we break away though, we might end this game early. Oh, Javi just misses that tackle. Diaz on Sagade, Sagade. That's a good little back heel. Partey, but Van de Ven steps up and we do get the ball out. Now, if we run, we have a chance, which Choi is running. Oh, Choi is using all of his pace. All of it. Choi goes all the way, but that last tackle is going to ruin it. And okay, we just like, I don't even know what we just did, but Allison will collect it. Oh, they might score that. That is just so lucky. It's incredibly lucky. Alinea makes it a 3-2. Like, the fact that this ball is bouncing everywhere here, and I thought we had it there. It's like Romero took a heavy touch. Oh, it's just so unlucky. Okay, 3-2. We are winning this game. We're not losing this one. I feel a win. Okay, Bailey has space here. Bailey is on a run, too. Bailey gets it back to Choi. Choi, chance to go for a shot, and Allison makes the save. That was Choi's best shot so far. Madison crossover. Osman, that could be yours. Osman, that looked like his. All right, who is top of the box? It's going to be Choi again. Choi, another shot. It's blocked by Diaz. In the box, though, Choi, good first touch. Get it back to Madison. Madison, try to pull the defenders out. Madison, good stop. Someone get a shot away. It's going to be Choi again, and Allison makes the save again. Choi is starting to look better. I'll say that. Wait, here he is again. Choi, oh, he was just offside. Madison, Madison has a chance to shoot here. James Madison, oh, that shot felt so good. All right, 10 minutes left. They got a corner. Osman, that's going to be a good clearance. Come on, this has got to be a bounce back win. We can't drop points again. Diaz, a Udogi, oh, it's a good block, but it goes right back to them. So much misfortune, so much misfortune, and Nunez is going to score and make it 3-3. How unlucky can we get in one single game? I can't believe that. That is so lucky. Okay, 3-3, three, three, seven minutes left. Are the cracks starting to show in this Tottenham team? Udogi gets it to Kavada. Kavada, Osman, you have space. Oh, you have space there, but it's good defending. We just took that guy out. Oh, man, I want this win, so we're pushing. We're pushing for it. Nunez, oh, Magnan saves it. I gave up on that pretty much. I knew we could not be close to Nunez there, but they still might get it. Romero, Romero, good tackle, and we get the ball out. Okay, run. We have a minute left. Cavada, wait for Osman. Wait for him. Go to Madison. Madison out wide. Okay, great pass. Goes to Yudogi. Yudogi finds Osman. Oh, Osman, no, he can't get this shot away. Oh, I didn't trust Yudogi's shot there. I wanted to get it to Osman. Man, like last game, Everton's lucky free kick, and then this game, they had two goals that were very questionable. So it's not a loss, but we just dropped two very big points here. So now we sit tied with United in first off goal difference. Just one goal, though. Keeps us in first place. Okay, we are on deadline day, though. It doesn't look like there's gonna be any shock moves here. I think I like where the team is at. I don't want to replace anyone. I like the way the bench looks. I think Magnan, Pavard, and Choi are three good additions for uh, in January. So we are logging in this team for the rest of the season. Hopefully it will be a good decision by uh, the time the season ends. So now next game is going to be Aston Villa and this team just needs a bounce back win. And also Choi hasn't done too much so far. This game might be his final chance to really, really show what he can do in this team. And before this game, he tells the media that he knows that Sun's shoes are very hard to fill here. He was one of Tottenham's best ever players. And he says that Sun has given him some advice and also that if he keeps working, the goals will come. So Choi plays at cam this game. Madison gets the rest. And like I said, past this point, I'm not sure how many starts uh Choi is gonna get this year so this might be one of his last chances to show in the starting 11 what he could do come on a loss a draw we need a win here otherwise uh, there's gonna be some questions about our title challenge this year and if it's actually a serious title challenge are we still the bottlers that everyone thinks we are now if it was like Everton this game could be very tricky one of those teams that are a little bit a little bit scary Mateo though Mateo chance for a finesse shot oh man almost a good start Osman gets it out okay Choi might be in here Cavada Gets it over. Actually goes to Benton Kerr. Oh, man. If that would have went to Choi, he had a better chance there. Cross didn't have enough on it, though. For some reason, I think Choi is better down the middle. Okay, Longstaff. I don't remember Longstaff being that quick, but Duran. That's a good tackle by Romero. We survived that. Choi to Canceliti. Canceliti is going to stay with that, man. Mateo's dribbling. I'll say it again. It is insane. Choi. Oh, I try to pass over Madison or not Madison. Uh, Benton Kerr, actually. That's a good ball. Mignon comes out for that and he makes a very good save. I do feel more comfortable with uh, Mignon in the back. I feel like he makes saves that Vicario just can't. Now, Cavada, a chance to go for a, like, a long shot, but that's going to be blocked by Oxford. Corner sent in. Come on, get this first goal. Okay, that looked dangerous. Header to someone who could shoot. It's going to be Benton Kerr. Find space and that shot's blocked. Second chance. Goes over. That is not who I wanted. 
Okay, is this Choi? Choi into Osman. Someone's got to score. Oh, Osman hits the post. Oh, man, that is just so unlucky. This goal fails. Inevitable, though. Osman will turn. Get to the tail. Oh, man, I should have just shot with Osman there. See, now we're overthinking these chances. We're trying to get a better shot, and we're almost overthinking them. Now, that's good ball up to Duran, though. Duran versus Romero. Romero, that is some very good defending right there. Gonna be a goal kick, too, man. Romero has impressed me so much this season. But, uh, through ball to Osman. Osman. You must score this. Osman, please score that. Okay, finally a ball is in the back of the net for us. Kavada to Osman again. And it's 1-0 to Spurs. 33rd minute. Let's keep this up. We need to win this game here. Osman through to Choi. Choi, a chance for his first goal for Spurs. And okay, Choi gets his first goal. Now, first two games were a little bit rough, but game number three, he might be coming to life. I feel like he's so different than Madison. He's got so much more pace as an attacking midfielder. So chances like this, Madison can't really do. That's why I feel Choi is better as like an attacking midfielder for some reason. But oh man, first ever goal in his career. He is awesome off the mark. Teo gets it over to Choi. Good pass. Now Choi. Run up and got a pass here. Choi. Great ball to Gavada. Over to. Oh, what a move. Started by Choi. That was just disgusting. This time it's Benton Kerr though with the finish. Okay. Choi is starting to come to life. Pass right here to get it over there. Oh, that's just beautiful. That is the attacking midfielder I saw in his stats. All right. 3-0. We look back to our ways in this game. Now, are they going to drag one back for halftime? Hopefully not. Nope. Because uh, Duran's offside. Okay. First half. Let's just keep this up. Oh, that's a good ball. Romero. 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 Maybe just save the goal, I think. Because I don't know how we got in that easily but he did and we get the ball out though osman you might be in here osman is in osman has a chance oh i was gonna try to cut inside there all right corner instead can someone get on this osman why is osman always going backwards i don't know why from corners he's always going backwards though Choi gets it to benton kerr benton kerr back to Choi. Choi in the box looks for a shot and Choi hits side netting hey he looks a lot better though maybe a uh, son's advice helped out now that is a very good ball to ramsey which i just overran the defenders so much but van de van and romero somehow combined to get the ball out okay that is not a good pass out though romero will save me as he usually does also man out to mateo now mateo's on his bicycle Choi has a little bit of space here Choi can go for a finish okay Choi is coming to life the first time finish off the half volley it's 4-0 and maybe the next tottenham legend has a has a brace and that right there is such a good technical finish all right now Choi has officially arrived come on clean sheet clean sheet needs to be kept this game for uh defensive confidence got it gives it to mateo mateo cuts inside beautifully oh man the fact that mateo even got that pass even close is quite insane it was a foul though i don't know what to do with this so bailey Bailey might go for a long shot, maybe. Actually, might not, because Choi is in a laid off. Sangare gets it back to Choi. Choi, look for something. Is it a fine Osman? Osman tries to turn, but it's good defending by them. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, it's going to be a red for Osman. I didn't mean... Okay, I did mean to do that, but I didn't mean for it to be a red. Oh, I was trying to win the ball back. That's actually, that's not a red. Hold up. That is not a red card. Not a straight red. Okay, Star Striker just been sent off. Thankfully, the game is 4-0. That's so unfortunate. I feel like we got so close to the ball where that shouldn't be a straight red. It should be a yellow card. I guess Choi is playing like a false nine now. Oh, man. This this man advantage, the clean sheet is going to be a race. All right, now I'm glad we scored four goals because if we have more game left, I'd be very nervous, but this should be over. Choi, Ranger Blink, Choi. Can go for a finesse shot. He's looking for a hat trick, but it goes right to the keeper. And Johnson gets it up to Solomon. Solomon, actually a great ball to you, Dogi. Do we pass to your Dogi? We'll get it over. It's going to be Benton Kerr over to Brennan Johnson. And oh, he sends it over the net. That is so sad. All right, I don't see out of time, but that should be game, right? Why is there no out of time? And why is this game still going on? I'm a little bit confused. Longstaff gets it through, and Manyan makes the save, though. We're in the 94th minute. When is this game done? Corner sent in. It should be cleared, caught, and that, that. Okay, there is full time. All right, this game will be known as the game where Choi actually broke out and arrived. Because the Sun regen, the next Sun, the next Tottenham legend, he played amazing this game. I have a good feeling he actually might be the next Tottenham legend. Like, him and Ferguson are the future of this team, I think. The future of the club. So, next episode, we have a chance to win a trophy with Spurs. Something that has not been done in so long. It's only the Carabao Cup, but hey, it's still a trophy. And the fact that it's a North London is pretty insane but i'll say this the cup final might not be the most insane thing that happens in the next episode that's all i'm saying for now so if you enjoyed drop a like i'd appreciate it um on screen is a video that you might like and as always if you guys have a great day